So uh, a big thing about social interaction in this game visually is, of course, character customization. Um, we're wanting to make sure that you guys have a lot more choices for your characters this time around in, in GW2. So we've opened up, instead of just by profession, which it used to be in Guild Wars 1, uh, now it is by weight class. So if you're going to be more of a caster, you'll be able to, to wear that class of armor, uh, light armor. If you're going to be more of a ranger type medium and more of a warrior and so forth, it uh, would be heavy. In which case, within those classes, you're not regulated to one specific look that might be to that profession. You can actually mix and match through anything that you want. And uh, a lot of these things have uh, some nice side effects I'm actually looking forward to in the game is that uh, Fashion-wise, since we're all fashionable people here, I, I actually really hope that there'll be fads that sort of naturally occur. Like maybe, uh, you know, the spikes are in in the spring. Uh, maybe, you know, chains are in the summer. It will be fabulous. It will be awesome. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the community is going to do uh, in order to show off some of the really cool stuff that they get through exploring through the world, through rewards in the, in the armor and, and, uh, and through the dungeons and so forth. And... Uh, and for this, for character customization, we're also making sure that uh, personally, as, as you know, aside from just what you're wearing, you create upon uh, initially creating this, or this the character at the beginning is going to have a whole lot of options. If you're human um, and a lot of the races, we have uh, different kinds of sliders for the faces. Well, we'll be able to choose from a bunch of different kinds of of uh, uh, designs of faces, but within that, you'll be able to customize like how wide the nose is, how long of it is it turned up, you know, uh, and how you know, if your eyes are a little larger. For the uh, char, for example, uh, one of the really cool things is that you'll be able to uh, dye your fur one color and then choose maybe a, a fur pattern like um, a leopard or a tiger or you know, it just it, it's really awesome. And you'll, be able to choose how what color that is going to be. You'll be able to choose different kinds of horn designs, different kinds of facial designs, uh, all of this kind of stuff. Um, for the Savari as well, uh, we'll be able to, to have different kinds of uh, different hairs. Uh, they have a, a very large selection of ear designs as well. So uh, you're going to be able to get a lot of visual identity through your, uh, through your character customization. But we're going to make sure that the, that doesn't go without there's going to be limits to where those sliders can go. As you can see, uh, in, in some forms, is that if you stretch the nose too big, it becomes inhuman. It becomes, you know, grotesque. It might actually, uh, uh, might actually hurt the immersion of other players in the game. So we want to make sure that there's a visual continuity. There's a sense of community. There's going to be, you know, a sense of everybody is 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 within this world and a part of this world. So we're going to make sure that it, you know, visually, that that is maintained. Um, uh, one of the other things that, uh, that I've been working on, actually, that, uh, is the dice system. I don't know if you guys know about this dice system yet. No? Woo! All right. <laughs> um, I, I had a, a while, a few conventions ago, I had promised that I was going to uh, put in 400 different dye colors. I had finished that last week. They're all individually named. Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, so... Um, and the really cool thing about this die system is, uh, you know, in, uh, especially with the GW2, is that we're able to have more than one piece of your armor. So, for example, that coat, uh, if it has a lot of different detail, you might be able to dye the lapel one color. You, you could actually dye the base of the coat some other color. Uh, perhaps it has some metal fixtures on it. Whatever, whatever is visually appropriate to break up into um, up to three uh, die chips. Per, per piece, but not every piece would actually require it. For example, if you just have a little leather glove or some plain pants, there's no visual reason to, you know, chop it up unnecessarily and unnaturally. So it'll be, it'll be appropriate to whatever that design of that piece of armor is. Um, in which case, uh, a lot of the uh, organization for the die system is uh, in place for, you'll be able to to organize, like perhaps by hue, perhaps by temperature, you know, whether you have, uh, you know, warms, cools, and naturals, and so forth. But there's a favorites tab, so you can pick your favorites of the most well used uh, colors that you like to go back to. And that's really interesting because. Uh, you'll be able to, to save off palettes that maybe you want to use between your characters, maybe you want to use between other characters that you're hanging out with, maybe you have uh, team colors and guild colors. And so you'll be able to start organizing all of this together, you'll be able to start choosing exactly how you guys want to look individually and collectively, and from that, as I've uh, touched on guilds, I'll turn it over to Eric. Okay. <laughs>